Alright guys, welcome back to my new tutorial series. Okay, so let's begin with animating this AK-47, shall we? Um, you can use pretty much any gun for this and you will use your imagination to create your own animation so you don't have to repeat the same stuff uh, the same steps what I do. I just show you the way we'll, the way I'll animate it. Okay, the first thing you should do is go to your AK script and see what anime, uh, what uh, sound you use for it. Like I use M4 reload. So you click on it and then you see what length of it is. So it's 2.6 seconds. So I'll run it up to like 2.5 seconds. Now this animation is going to be split into three parts or four. I don't know yet. And the first part is going to be the whole gun and the hands moving towards your new position. So like right now in the game, this is what it looks like. So let me just drag it out for a sec. Here, so you can see animation, the scene, and the game. Now what you should do, you should click on the object you want to animate. Like here, I have to select the whole thing with hands and the gun. I already have animation attached to it, it's shoot animation, but I'm going to change it to new animation. Save your animation somewhere where you'll always find it. Mine is somewhere in. Uh, yeah, in my folder for AK. I'm going to go with hands, under slide, reload. Now, when you name your animation, just click record. <coughs> now, this step, the first step is very important. Here, you have to define the beginning position and beginning rotation of the gun. Otherwise, this is what will happen. So, let me show you real quick. For example, let's say you want to move the gun here. And this is what it does. It defines the position of the gun that you just made, not the one that was in the beginning. Same goes for rotation. If you rotate your gun, like, like you say you move it in front, now you want to rotate it. In a sec, you want to make the first team model, make a new key. And then this is what you do you rotate your gun somewhere, and this is what happens. Nothing happens because the beginning rotation wasn't defined for the gun. So it just stays there, it doesn't smoothly go there. So what you have to do for that is delete all this and control Z to the very beginning. And move it on where it was. And we'll just delete it. Oops, sorry, wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. Mm, something messed up here. Anyway, like this. Just don't mess up anything. I was just going to show you what is going to happen now. Let's start. So, uh, what I always do in the beginning, I move the gun slightly away from the position where it was. Just move it up by like one millimeter or so. The same do for rotation. Like my rotation is set to zero zero zero. Make it like zero point zero one. Click enter and same for this one and this one. Because now. When we're going to make the animation, it's going to know where to start with. Okay. Now the next step is to define where your gun is going to go at each second. Like I'm going to make mine go to at half a second. It's going to transform to this position. Drag it like this and see what happens. So, like you can see, the gun goes to the new position very nice and smoothly without any glitches. 
no rotation or anything. Let me just adjust it one more time. Like so. Like this. So then in your animation you can see the mag as if it's getting taken out. So like this. Now it's gonna stay in that position for let's say until two minutes. So move it slightly away. So then it has another point. And then where it says 2.5, click there. And uh, rotate your gun back to the default position. So it was like this. Zero, zero, zero. And now just move it to its default position. That shouldn't be too hard to adjust. Like so. Now, let's, if you play animation, this is what happens. It holds the gun in your position and returns it back. But something is wrong because he does it with, like, in a weird way. This line is too smooth. We should make, add more keyframes to it. So click to this keyframe and click add another keyframe. Now we can move this position slightly up and then click somewhere in the middle to make one more keyframe and move this down. So now if we do this, this is what happens. It goes in new position smoothly. It shakes it a bit. Which gives it a realistic effect, and it goes back to a new to the default position. Okay, so the first animation is pretty much done. You could edit it. You can move it to any position. Just make sure that the beginning keyframe is the same as the starting as the ending keyframe. Well, mine's a little in front, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's pause this. So our first animation is now done. Now let's go to a new animation. Let me just close all this. And find it. So yeah, there is our animation. There it is. You can see there are two animations here, have shoot and hand reload. Now the next step is to make the animation for the right arm, because since it's going to take out the mag. So find your right arm, mine's right here, and we're going to make animations for it. So um, this is what you have to do. If, if in your inspector view you don't have animation window here, this is what you have to do. You have to go to component miscellaneous. I don't know how to, how to say that. Sorry if I spelled it wrong. And then click animation. And it says adding component rules of prefab. And click add. Doesn't matter. And now we have animation attached to it. Now click record again. And name the animation something useful in the same folder. In the same folder or somewhere where you can find it. So mine's here, I'm going to call it right hand reload. And now do the same thing. Adjust the the full pos um, the starting position. Like so. And rotation. My rotation is a bit weird. Mine's set to mine has some rotating it, so it's gonna be more difficult to find. So what I, what I do, I just erase a few last numbers because those don't really matter a lot. They like you won't see a difference. So that's what I do. Okay, now when you're done with that, that will start. So I say like around half a second, the hand will move to this position to take the mag out. Now you have to adjust it so the hand is not in the gun or something. I think it should be a bit lower. I 
and maybe I should also like rotate it like so move it down just look for it in this side it's a little bit in the mag Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, like so. Well, what the hell? Now, this is the glitch that happens sometimes with me. That's because the, the, um, what's it called? The beginning rotation is not really set right, so I'll have to readjust this one more time. Okay. Like so. Because rotation is the most difficult thing in animating, in my opinion, and sometimes it goes wrong. So you always have to adjust it at the beginning, not in the end. So, like, hopefully, it's going to be alright now. Now, do the same thing as you did before. Rotate this up. And yeah, now, as you can see right here, it's fine without any lags or any 360 spins. I'll click one more time here and drag this to where you so where you think it's it's going to be. So like so. That looks good. Now for blade. Just one more time. Now on the plate, we can see that the hand goes to the mag. But it's probably should go around, not through things. So we'll have to make one more keyframe somewhere here, not here, at 0 0.10 millisecond, and another keyframe. Now this key keyframe is going to make our hand go to the right, and keyframe at 0 0.2 seconds is going to make our keyframe go actually we don't want this was gonna do is just gonna go like this go around and on the mag kinda goes around it so that's good now the next thing we'll have to wait for uh, like I'm gonna add my keyframe like somewhere here and this one is not going to do anything it's just just the hand's gonna just wait on the mag for a little while so then it doesn't have to because it doesn't automatically take the mag out he waits a bit and then he takes the mag out now the next thing we have to do is um, make the hand go down so that outside the screen so then you don't see it wet below the mag so let's say put it here and the animation is going to do this Gonna go down and a bit in front. Maybe a little back because our gun is going to be rotated 90 degrees, so you don't want to see anything in there. This is what happens: it goes up and then it goes down. Mm. 